Hello and welcome to the first shoot of the Colt Single Action Army Peacemaker. You can see right here, this is the packaging it comes in, just a little box. As of April 2015, everything can change. And it's an interesting little gun. Let's have a quick look at this. Full metal, except for the grips, which are plastic, mostly plastic, I'll show you here in a minute. I like this dark finish. It looks very metallic. So hard to capture here with this video camera, but it has a really nice deep metallic look to it. You can see the rear sight is notched into the frame right here, the front sight right here. It's gonna be kind of tricky, but I'll try to give you guys a little idea of what that's like. There you go, kind of hard to see that front sight. And obviously, very similar to a Peacemaker. The cylinder is locked until you put it into half cock. So we're gonna take this hammer, that first click, and if you listen, two, three. There are three clicks, all right? Is that a true Colt? Some people would say no. And you'll notice that when the hammer's all the way forward, it springs back. So this is its most forward position where it will actually rest on its own. So if that bothers you, you know, it kind of bothers me ever so slightly, but not a huge deal. Additionally, they did, I think this is just BB requirements. They did put the safety down here. You actually can click this on, so the gun is safe, which is annoying because you can't move the hammer, which means you can't put it in half cock, which means the cylinder is locked, which means you can't load or unload it, which is pretty annoying if you ask me. <laughs> and just looking at like nitpicking here, the detail is pretty dark. I mean, like just the detail here between the barrel and the frame, you can tell a slight difference in finish. This looks slightly more silver and this looks slightly darker. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if the camera is really going to capture the difference between those two finishes there. But there is a slight difference. Again, I don't mind that at all. Here's the other side. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get this thing in operation. Wow, that's a pretty stiff safety. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to unload this. Now, it does have this ejector right here. where You can pull your rounds out of your cylinder with this. So you flip open your gate, your loading gate, put it in half cock, and then this will actually push your rounds out, okay? But this is kind of a hassle as this is not a real Colt. It's easier just to let gravity pull them out because the cases don't expand because you know, you're not shooting real ammunition. So I just find it easier just to leave that alone and do it like that, all right? So, oh, something else I wanna show you on the hammer, just more details here. This little pin right here, this fake firing pin is spring loaded, you can see. It seems like it's there just for show. I'm not sure how the firing mechanism works, but we're gonna find out here shortly. I wish the hammer would rest fully forward, but it doesn't. All right, so let's get this loaded up. You can see these dummy rounds require you to load them from the rear. And let's grab a CO2 powerlet which is right here. All right, and we have our Pelgun oil out. We're squared away, ready to go. And another um, point of interest for many of you out there, these rounds are more the size of a 357 and less like a 45 Colt, right? So like a 45 long Colt. If you grab a 357 Magnum, this is an actual 357 Magnum, and you lay it next to one of these rounds, they look very similar. So it's more like a 357 than a 45 Colt, unfortunately. So I'm not sure if that gives you any information about the scale of the cylinder or anything. Anyway, I put a tiny drop of Pelgan oil. You can see just a tiny drop of Pelgan oil on this CO2 power lip. We're gonna pop this grip off. You can see there is a little bit of metal here at the base of it and the rest of it's plastic. So it's just a plastic grip panel. And then we can drop our CO2 power lip in here. This is not the hex wrench that came with it. I just grabbed it because it was convenient. It's what I used for various other, other CO2 piercing methods here. Again, the grip panel isn't my favorite. I like, for example, the Colt Python, which I've reviewed and discussed in other videos. I like that loading system more for a revolver. And let's see if we can, okay, now watch for leaks here. 
No leaks whatsoever. Rock solid. It's always scary when you don't hear any noise. There's always concern like whether or not that actually pierced or not. But we're gonna find out. So let's load her up and see how she does. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's grab six rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna load up these dummy rounds right here, these loading rounds. And one more. All right. Half cock, flip this gate open. Always read the owner's manual. Obviously, I've read the owner's manual. They recommend, you know, letting that hammer down nice and slowly. And we're going to explore some of that today. All right. And it's just occurred to me I haven't set up my target. I need to move it out into the camera view here. So I'm going to put this down. First thing we're going to do is drop this hammer nice and slowly as per instruction manual. I'm going to turn the safety on. We're actually going to use the safety here and I'm going to run and set up my target. One second. All right, we got that squared away. Let's see how this thing performs now. We'll turn the safety off. We should see red down there. Can you see that little safety right there? All right, we're fully loaded. Single action, obviously, so if you pull the trigger now, nothing happens. You actually have to cock the hammer. And we'll see how precise this thing is. I'm gonna aim with your, my normal sight picture so the sights will be slightly below that red dot. All right, directly on. I'm aiming for this at the same place here. All right, that should be six. So let's have a look here. Excellent. Good shoot, and that single action is really crisp. I really like this. It feels superb. I mean, I can't tell you how good this feels. The full metal gives it a nice weight. The single action trigger feels so authentic. I mean, it's just really light single action pull. This is a lot of fun to shoot. I can highly recommend this to anybody out there. I mean, this is just the first time I've shot it and it's amazing. I'm super happy with it. Obviously there are some little goofy things like that safety, um, that spring loaded hammer. This is as far forward as the hammer goes. You can't cock the hammer or load or unload while with the safety on. But I mean, those things aside, I mean, it's such an interesting gun. I'm really happy they make guns like this. I'm gonna keep shooting this. Thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe, follow us at hobbyjohn.com, Facebook and Twitter.